I'll tell thee of Battle of Hastings. It was happened in days long gone by, when Duke William became King of England, and Harold got shot in the eye. It was this way. One day in October, the Duke, who was always a toff, having no battles on at the moment, a give all his lads the day off. They'd all taken boats for go fishing, when some chap in Conqueror's ear said, let's go and put breeze up the Saxons. By gum, said Bill, there's an idea. So turning around to his soldiers, he lifted his big Norman voice, shouting, hands up who's coming to England. That was just swank, cause they hadn't no choice. They started away about tea time. The sea was so calm and so still, and at quarter to ten the next morning, they arrived at a place called Bexhill. King Harold came up to meet them, his face full of venom and hate. He said, if you've come for regatta, you've come a fortnight too late. Well, at this William rose, cool but haughty, and said, give us none of your cheek, and you'd best have your throne reupholstered. I'll be wanting to use it next week. Well, when Harold heard this here defiance, with rage he turned purple and blue, and shouted some rude words in Saxon, to which William answered, <coughs> and you. Twere a beautiful day for a battle. The Normans set out with a will, and when both sides was duly assembled, they tossed for the top of the hill. King Harold won the advantage. On the hill top he took up his stand, with his knaves and his cads all around him, on his horse, with his hawk in his hand. Normans had now in their favour. Their chance of a victory seemed small, for the slope of the field were again them, the wind were in their faces and all. Kick-off was sharp at 2.30, and as soon as the whistle had went, both sides started bashing each other till swineherds could hear them in Kent. Now, Saxons had best line of forwards, armed with both buckler and sword, but the Normans had best combination, so come half-time, neither had scored. So the Duke called his cohorts together and he said, let's pretend that we're beat. Then when we get Saxons down on level, we'll cut off their means of retreat. So they ran and Saxons ran after them, just exactly as William had planned, leaving Harold alone on the old top on his horse, with his hawk, in his hand. When the conqueror saw what had happened, a bow and an arrow he drew. He went right up to Harold and shot him. He were offside, but what could they do? The Normans turned round in a fury and gave back both parry and thrust to fight roll over bar shouting and you couldn't see Saxons for dust. And after the battle was over, they found Harold, so stately and grand, sitting there with an eye full of arrow on his horse, with his oak in his hand. <laughs>